Hi guys, Kathy here from Kathy's WW Journey. It is snack time in the Mercury household. <laughs> We're having pizza. Um, a while ago, a subscriber of mine gave me this recipe, and I cannot find her name. So if you're watching, give me your name down in the comments below so I can acknowledge you. Uh, the recipe is wonderful. Because um, all the time, like the pizza crust is made out of cauliflower or whatever, which that's good too. But I really like this one. It's made out of chickpeas. And for the whole pizza, it's only one point for the crust. We're going to share it so it's going to be zero. Um, the only thing you're going to count is the toppings you put on. So, we're going to get started. The oven is at 400 degrees. And then I'm going to point you down and show you what I'm doing. All right, your little food processor. I've got one can of chickpeas rinsed and drained. Now, if you're using, um, if you cooked your chickpeas earlier in the day or whatever, you have them on hand, about a cup, all right? So, all right, so we have that in there. And it's going to be one tablespoon of flour. Dude. <laughs> I got stuck. I got stuck, I did. Okay, one teaspoon of just garlic powder, any kind, doesn't matter. Okay, one teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Since this is pizza, I use my pizza seasoning. But just regular Italian seasoning is fine. Okay. And then the salt is a teaspoon. And pepper is like, no, I don't know, about a half a teaspoon. Or Okay, and we're also going to put in a one egg. Okay, and you just go ahead and put the top on. And we are going to process this until it looks like hummus. This is what it's going to look like. Don't take too long. I'm noisy, guys. I'm noisy. And I would stop it like halfway through and of course press everything down in the center so all your little chickpeas gets all mashed up. Well, get it on there right. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that looks. I think it should go a little bit longer, guys. And I already took the thing out, so hopefully this will work. Hopefully, I can get it back in there. I think I can. So I think it should go just a little bit longer. parchment paper on it. I hope you guys can see that. There, there. Is that a little bit better? There we go. All right. Okay. So I'm going 
go ahead and get this right down in the center there. Get all that goodness out of there. Okay, best thing to do is with your hands, guys. Just saying. <laughs> Just gonna mash it together. You're gonna squish it out the sides there to make your pizza. Hope you guys give this a try because really it is very good and we tried this a few weeks ago and it's excellent okay that looks to be about right now this is going to go in the oven for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes i'm sorry we're going to bake it for 15 minutes and then we'll bring it out and we're going to put the toppings on it and toppings is your choice. Those are the things you're going to count. This whole thing right here is one point. So we're cutting it in half. We're going to share it. And it's going to be zero. So it's only going to be what toppings I'm putting on. So I will bring you back when I'm ready to top it. Alright guys, I brought it out of the oven. And it looks really good. It's, uh, yeah. So now you're going to top it any way you want smells good too. I'm going to use, if you watch my Creamy Alfredo uh, video that I just put up here the other day, um, I'm going to put some of that. But you can use red sauce, whatever sauce you want. Doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. I just want to, I'm going to keep this white. Like I said, you do this any toppings that you want. Just count your toppings on it. That's it. If you're gonna eat the whole thing, count one plus your toppings. Okay, there's that. Now, I want to put on, let me see. All right, no, I think I'm gonna start with my cheese. All right, I'm gonna put my Parmesan cheese, and this is a one ounce. So I'll count a half an ounce because I am sharing this with my honey. Okay, there's that. Now I want to put feta cheese on it. And this is an ounce as well. We're cheese people, we like our cheeses. And that's a reduced fat um, feta cheese. Okay, now we had chicken sausage with our dinner. So on half this pizza, I'm gonna put the sausage on. The sausage I just cut up and we're just, there we are. Okay, and I got a, few pieces of tomato I would like to put on there. Like I bet. Then I have some little uh, spring, uh, well, yeah, onion. <laughs> Green onion I chopped up here. Okay. Let me wipe my paws here. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on it. There we are. Now my pizza topping that I put in the dough mix, we're going to sprinkle some on the outside. And it gives it that little extra something, something. Now for the topping, it's one ounce of the mozzarella. Did 
this pizza really smells good already without even, I mean, I'm smelling the crust. Alrighty, and that's it. Now this is going back in the oven. Whoops, wrong. <laughs> this is going back in the oven for about 10 minutes. I'll bring it back when I pull it out. Alright guys, here is our pizza. Woohoo! Look at that. Nice, huh? Alrighty. And you just use a little pizza cutter. It, it uh, cuts very easily. Alright. So I hope you guys give this here a little try. I'm going to bring that up closer so you can see. There. Wow, look at that. Nice. Low carbonate, baby. There we are. All right. And please, the subscriber that gave me that recipe, give me your name down below. Let me know. And uh, I'll give you a little shout out because this was perfect. Yay. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you next time in my kitchen. Thank you. Bye now.